Okay, we're back. This is Dave Vellante with Jeff Kelly. This is Silicon Angle's The Cube. As you know, The Cube is a comfortable place. We drop into the events. It's a live mobile social media studio. We broadcast live on the web. Last year, The Cube did 27 events. This year, we'll do about 35. So we're really getting a feel for and a flavor for the types of events. It's across the spectrum, small, medium, and large. We're here at the Tableau Customer Conference. I have to tell you, this is I've done personally many, many of these with my co-host John Furrier, this is one of the best events, and the way in which we measure the events, really, their effectiveness, we try to listen to the messaging that comes out of the, the company, the host company, and then try to see how well that aligns with the customer base. So I would say that this is one of the top two conferences that we've been to in terms of the alignment of the messaging and the absorption by the customers. Alyssa Fink is here, she's the CMO of Tableau. We're going to talk about this event and, and other activities. Alyssa, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks David, it's great to be here. Yeah, so I really mean that. I mean, we're very impressed with the enthusiasm of the cu yeah. customer base. The other one was ServiceNow Knowledge Conference. Oh. Um, we were talking to Christian before, he knows Frank Slubin. Passionate, passionate, totally different business, but um, I, I, I've never seen two companies with as passionate a customer base. It's really fantastic, so congratulations on Well, thank you, and we're so happen. lucky. We love our customers. We listen to them. We love uh, collaborating with them. So it's a mutual admiration society yeah, for well sure. Yeah, that's cool. So this is a, you know awesome event for you. Um, packed house, you know, fire marshal full, people are lining up in the hallways. You've had some great keynotes. You know, a lot of times conferences like this, there'll be one blockbuster keynote. You've had a couple. We just heard Walter Isaacson, we had Nate Silver before, your, your chief executive, uh, uh, Kristen Schabo, gave a great keynote yesterday. So, and then you also have um, a number of your developers up on the conference. They got great kudos, people clapping. So <laughs> uh, really a great job in putting this together. This is kind of your baby and uh, how do you feel? Well, I feel great. We have an incredible team of people that put this on. It takes a village, a huge village. The entire company is really involved in the conference, uh, from the content to the decisions as small as what kind of, well, not a small decision, what kind of a party are we going to have? You know, uh, what, kind of, what kind of food? We, we really get into every detail, and it's, uh, it's people on my team that just do a spectacular job. Amy Schneider, Dana Paik, Elena Schuler. It's just, it goes on and on, and it, it's a thrill. It's really a thrill yeah, to be here. You guys are a detail-oriented company. We've noticed. Um, the, by the way, you mentioned last night we're at the museum, which was awesome. If you haven't been to the museum, you know, come down to D.C., take your kids. I mean, this <laughs> is fantastic. So much to do down here. Mm. Really excellent. The, the customers loved it, and it was packed. I mean, not a lot. Of, it, we, we had a bus people there, mm -hmm. but not a lot of people stayed behind. I mean, it was. Yeah, we were very jammed. pleased to, to discover that we were, you know, because it is once you take people off property, you don't know. It's really, really easy for them to drop out. But um, I think we have a good reputation for putting on a good party, so I think that got people on the bus. Now, <laughs> how did it come about that the conference is here in the nation's capital? Well, we were looking for a great venue where we could host uh, the size crowd that has turned out, but also keep it a little bit intimate. So we like the style of the Gaylord because it has a nice convention center, but also an attached hotel and several hotels in the nearby area. So that when you're walking the halls, whether you're on your way to your room or you're in a restaurant, you're pretty sure the people you're encountering are with the conference and you can strike up conversations and connect with people. So we really looked for a place places that allow us to allow our customers to, to foster a sense of intimacy with us and with each other. You know, I love that because I mean, it's so easy to say, all right, we're going to Vegas. That's <laughs> what everybody does, right? But you're right, when you're out in Vegas, you don't know, you're typically they're not at the conference, right? It's <laughs> somebody else, so, so that's, um, that's a good joke. You know, initially we thought, okay, maybe there's a lot of you know, government agencies using your product, and I'm sure there are, but that really is not what it's about, is it? No, not at all. I mean, we're delighted. We do have a nice representation of our government customers, and we have a special track for them as well, so we're pleased to be here and be of service to them. But no, it wasn't about Washington, D.C. is where a, a key base of customers is located. It was about finding the right place, a fun place, the right time of year, um, and the right space that gives us the opportunity to have the kind of events we like to have. Right. 
Well, Lisa, speaking of customers, you've got so many great customers here, and also so, so many great sessions that are you know, customers telling their story. Mm -hmm. How did you go about making decisions about who's going to come in and what customers you're going you're gonna to have uh, present here? I mean, there's so many great customers who want to tell their story. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure you had no shortage of people that would like to talk. How, mm -hmm. how do you make those kind of decisions? We were very fortunate. We did have quite a few customers submit for, uh, we do a speaker call, and we had quite a few customers mm -hmm. submit. And it's very difficult, and we take it very seriously when mm -hmm. we're deciding. We don't, uh, we look at the stories, we look at the impact, we get a sense of that person and their passion for their story and their success and what they're doing and what they're able to teach, what they're able mm. to share. Because this is a learning event. We want our customers to come here because they say, this was worth it. I learned something that I'm going to be better at what I do and what my organization does when I get back to the office. Mm. So those are all the factors that go into our decision. And it takes, it takes quite a few of us. We do a lot of reviews. It takes several collaborative sessions where we're um, reading the reviews, we're interviewing our customers. Um, we can't accommodate every one of them, but we would love to if we could. Um, and so we find other ways to help them, to have them <laughs> participate as well. Um, so as Dave mentioned, in the, in, after C Christian's keynote, you brought on a lot of developers uh, inside the company to kind of announce a lot of the new features. Um, how do you as a marketer really, uh, you know, I guess both keep, uh, you know, obviously you've got to tell the, the larger story of Tableau, but you've also, clearly, you listen to your customers and you speak directly to them. How do you go about doing that in, in, such, a, in such a way that it's, it's, it's resonating so much with, with, with your customers? I'm sure uh, our CMOs out there watching would love to, to, oh, to get uh, the kind of response that you've gotten from your customers. How do you do it? Well, number one, we have a phenomenal product and a phenomenal group of developers and an incredibly passionate customers and incredibly passionate employees. Really, when we interview for our employees, um, if you're great in every aspect of your job, but you're not passionate about our mission, mm. you're probably not going to be invited to join. So we're pretty careful about selection, and what that does is drive everything else about that. So we get mm. great developers who are in bed, uh, on board with the mission, uh, that makes great products. Now, when you have a great product as a marketer, bringing it back to marketing, there's so many things that allow you to go faster, smoother, and just get things done because you're not dodging potholes because the product mm. really isn't that great. Your customers really kind of are mad at you. So we're very lucky mm. to have a great product. We do work really hard in the marketing team. <laughs> um, uh, you know, we're making a lot of things happen. Our sales team is amazing, but having all these things come together and firing on all cylinders is really part of the magic. Yeah. So I have to ask you, so I sh was showing you a little crowd spotting tool before. So oh I yes. I want to run through some, so we're, we're monitoring the crowd here at, uh, at the hashtag TCC13 and other hashtags that the people are sharing. Um, the, I have to make you laugh, the cube was out trending Tableau as oh. a hashtag, <laughs> but it's not anymore. Tableau has overtaken the cube. <laughs> <laughs> and so, of course TCC13 is the dominant hashtag, but, but it's kind of fun. Some of the hashtags that, that people are sharing here, user ready, big data, Walter Isaacson, of course, because he just came off that great keynote. Uh, data love, mm. I love that one. Mm -hmm. um, Data Viz, you guys talk about the Viz a lot. Um, mobile BI, leadership, innovation. Get Silvered is another one. Um, uh, let's see, uh, Steve Jobs and, and Apple, of course, are in every, hash yeah. in every vertical of ours. So it's kind of some fun conversations going on out there. We have a creative and fun-loving customer base. I mean, they're serious about their data and they're serious about their analytics, but they also understand the importance of having some fun and being lighthearted and, and collaborating. It's a lot more interesting and a lot more effective when you're uh, collaborating with someone that you genuinely like and you genuinely can enjoy. And I think that's what you're seeing in some of those hashtags is people are having a good time while they're learning. Yeah, so I wonder if you could share with us your philosophy of, of marketing. Sure. You know, so much of marketing today is pushing stuff out on email and you know, trying to get people to click on a white paper and, and, and we feel as though that business technology folks you know, really want marketing to be a source of value mm. to them. And it, and it seems I'm inferring from this conference that that you share that philosophy to a certain extent, but I wonder if you could talk about your philosophy, your company's philosophy about marketing. marketing. What are you essentially trying to accomplish there? Sure. Well, we're very focused in marketing and actually in every area of Tableau on our mission, and that's to help people see and understand data. Uh, one of the key words in that sentence for marketing in particular is people. We really view ourselves uh, as a people-centric brand. Certainly organizations buy Tableau, but it's really the people at the organizations that are buying and using Tableau. So, 
when we keep our eye on it's a person on the other end that we're, we're trying to communicate and collaborate with, it just makes it more human, it makes it more real, and that boils down to the most important quality that we look for in our marketing, which is authenticity. So we're very much about, is this really the way that our, our brand should be expressed? Is this authentic to our customer base and what they're trying to accomplish with data? Uh, those are the kind of things that we're always looking for. When you come to our website, we want you to feel like, hey, that made me smarter, make me smarter. You know, make me better, and then and then we get the reciprocal. Uh, you know, if you make somebody smarter, they're likely to want to work with you. So, so we're very focused on the people aspects of what we do. So let's talk about some of the people. I mean, there's there's customers, there's 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 developers, there's the super users, right? So we've we've heard from we've seen all of those uh, today. So uh, this week, actually, yesterday, you had up on stage the the de let the developers speak, mm -hmm. and they did. They came up. They were funny, engaged. <laughs> wearing cool hats, yeah. Yeah. showing off some of their, their, their stuff. So talk about how you engage your developers. Christian was saying you fl flew your entire development team out here to put them in front of your customer people. Talk yeah. about that a little bit. Sure, it, it's wonderful to have our developers on stage because it's an opportunity for them to shine and to show how what they're doing relates, again, authentically to the work that our customers are doing. So we love to have them here, we love seeing them, we love, they're almost like rock stars when they come. They, they come and they're able to talk to our customers, they're able to experience it firsthand. What that does when they get back to work is they really are able then to understand the impact of what they're doing how that work, how th that impact, what it is on a customer, on a person, on the other end. So we love to have our developers in front of our customers. And we celebrate our developers. It really does mean a lot to have a great software product to sell and market. And we love what our developers do for Tableau. Uh, this morning before Nate Silver's keynote, you also brought up um, you know, the Data Ninjas. Uh, yes, <laughs> so the Tableau Zen Masters. The Tableau yes. Zen Masters, yeah. right. So what is that all about? Who are they? How, how does one become a Zen Master? You know, sure. What do you got to do to achieve sure. that status? So, Tableau Zen Masters is a program where we recognize some of our more uh, ardent customers and partners who do three things. They um, participate heavily in the community, they contribute to the community, they are on a mission of education, um, so that they're sharing their knowledge and they're not afraid to share it, and they're innovative. They're, they're constantly challenging and expanding the uses of Tableau. So every year, um, we look at that base of people who, who are out there communicating, being part of the community, are very skilled and willing to share their knowledge, and we hand select them actually with our development team, with Chris Stolte and a few folks from marketing, and we designate them as Tableau Zen Masters, and during the, the next year, they get some special privileges. They, at conferences and user groups, they get treated specially. If they come to Seattle, they get a special inside look. We're very attentive to their questions and needs um, and comments when they're on the forums or when they call us. So it's a really wonderful way to connect with a very special group of people. And then the third leg of the people stool is, is the customers, and, mm -hmm. and you know, probably leave the best for last, I guess. And yesterday was kind of customer day in the cube. We interviewed a, yes. a number of your customers. Many, if not most, had were presenting at this event. So talk about that a little bit, how the customers participate, how they, you, you mentioned a little bit before, but, but tell us again, so how do they go about you know, participating and, and submitting ideas and the like? So we do a lot of regular communication with our customers. Our salespeople are in touch regularly. We try to stay in touch mar with marketing. We do user groups, we do road shows and seminars, and we get to know many of them. We put out a call for speakers, and sometimes new people that we're not familiar with come out. We make personal calls to each of them to get them involved, or to, 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 to understand what their story is. And we want them to come, we want them to come share their story. Because their story is one of knowledge and experience, and we know that other customers listening, listening to customers customers will have a better sense of what they can do, how they can apply Tableau, how they can make more from Tableau. So we love having them here. Every year the sessions get bigger. We have more tracks of customers. I think this year we have three tracks of customer sessions, uh, over 70 customer sessions participating in one way or another. Um, and so we just, we love seeing them here. It's the best, some of the best content by far. So listen, my last question, Jeff may have, have some others, is, is 
What can you tell us about what you know? What to expect going forward? What's next for you guys? Maybe you know, give us an advanced well, look. Well, you know, we're excited about the future. Um, we recently went public, but we're focused on the mission. Um, it's all about again back to that helping people see and understand data. And the uh, being public has allowed us to have some additional visibility. But again, it's all about what our customers are doing, how we can help them advance, how we can enable them as they move from job to job or company to company. We want to be there with them, uh, making things happen. So we're just um, more the same and and keep building and we just we look forward to to what the opportunities are for data driven companies Outstanding. Yeah, I would just add, you know, for uh, Tableau users out there who want to get more involved, uh, you know, meet more of their, you know, fellow Tableau users. What are some things they can do to get more involved in the community? Oh, absolutely, Jeff. Thank you for that question. They can um, get involved by go, you, getting involved in our forums mm -hmm. and uh, submitting ideas for improvements to the product. Um, we have user groups. Um, we've got more this year than we've ever had, more than double already that meet on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. um, they can also uh, participate in some of our seminars and roadshows, um, and. Just just get 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 using Tableau. Download our videos. Watch our videos. Um, reach out to your sales rep or even to us in marketing. Uh, we love to hear from our customers, and uh, we welcome them with open arms when they reach out. Fantastic. All right, Alyssa. Well, thanks very much for having us here. We really appreciate it. And, well, thank uh, you guys. It's been great so to well. have you here. Really great, great to have guests, you here. And, and it's been awesome content. And uh, thanks for coming to the cube. Thank you. All right, take care everybody. We'll, we'll be right back uh, after this word. Uh, let's see, Susan Beyer is up next, and uh, we'll be right back, this is theCUBE.